When you have your own business, one of the things you never want to cut corners on is getting a sample. A sample. Make sure you test your product out. One of the main reasons we want to test our product out is for durability. People are not dainty when they get our products. Second thing you want to test it out is for quality. Ineffable quality. When you're testing these products out, you need to make sure that is it usable? What I'm going to show you is a couple of products. They're not in my store, so I'm not advertising them whatsoever. So the first one I did was this pop-up uh, shower tent. And it's really big. When I took this out of the case, that thing popped. So when I did, it just went boom, and the whole thing just landed out in the front yard and it was open. Now here's my concern. What if I had children by me? What if I had my grandchildren next to me? What if one of the dogs was there and it hit them in the face? Oh no. I noticed that when I have a flashlight, you can see my silhouette. This is a privacy tent. I don't need people to see me when I'm changing. To me, that's an invasion of privacy. I don't like that. I tried to fold it. Now there's videos on how to fold these and you have to fold it like it is now, then fold it in half and then you have to twist it to get it back into its package. By the time I was done, I was breathing heavy, breaking a sweat. It was sitting in the yard for three hours. I gave up. I'm like, I'm not dealing with this right now. Imagine my customers feeling that way. Uh oh. So this product, I choose not to sell. Other people may choose to sell it, and that's all well and good. But this is the reason I chose not to sell it, because I'm looking out for my business and I'm looking out for my customers. It's like, oh, but I can make good money. If you just sell them all, you can make good money. Well, what happens if you get 10 returns on 100? That's 10%. They can shut your listing down for that. Good to know. They will reach out to you to ask you to do a corrective action. So when you're picking a product, it's really, really important to get these samples and test them out. Now, the next one I chose, and what it is, is a camping toilet, and it's supposed to go inside the uh, shower tent. But this one comes with a backing. But look at how well this is done. This is like really durable. And they soldered it on really well, it really thick. And let me tell you, I'm like, I'm banging the crap out of this thing. But my initial one, I tossed it. I did everything but throw it off a mountain. So these are the reasons why we do product testing. Get your samples. And this can make or break your store. This can make or break your business. What if this is your, your only product that you have to start with? You know, this is what you can afford right now. And you want to be able to scale it so you can, can grow. You don't want this happening with your very first product. It does something to you. You know, it's like you want to quit because, oh, I failed. Well, no, actually, no, you learned a lesson. That's all it is. You didn't fail. The only way you fail is when you quit. So if you learn a lesson, learn it. Always make sure you have your samples. And the reason being is want to check for durability, want to check for the quality, and you want to stop those bad reviews. And if you like what we're talking about and like what we're doing here, you know, go ahead and click the link below and, you know, give us a little punch out there and, and keep watching and we'll send you some more good stuff. If there's something that you want to hear about, drop it in the chat and we'd be more than happy to answer. Thanks a bunch for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Aloha.